When I think back to the glory years of my 18-year-old life, which in itself is a pretty sad concept, I remember how their shrieks always sounded like how I imagined they would if wolves were tearing at their throats. We were all teenage girls with swords and desperate spirits, always the same at every damn fencing tournament. Only I never felt the wolves biting. I felt something else. I was lunge, duck, turn, fist pump, ah! <laughs> Tush, a point, another line, another X, another victory. When I learned to scream, it was always out of desperation. After I'd gotten to know the touch, after I'd gotten the touch that seemed impossible, when the aftertaste of adrenaline felt like heaven. But like any addict, it became never enough, and I couldn't stop the screaming. I couldn't stop the screaming, so I did the next best thing and stopped myself, put down the sword, and surrendered. Instead of learning to balance, I turned my teeter-totter into a trebuchet and solved my own problems that way. I can't think of any life manifestos that follow that advice, but I don't have a manifesto or a set of rules to follow. I am not a feminifesto or a femme with a festo. It's just a misplaced reminder of the things I forget. I remember when I began fencing, an ex-Russian coach, still stuck on an idea where a few ounces of colored metal was glory, asked me if I wanted to be in the Olympics someday. I said no. I don't remember if I knew about the trebuchet then, if I knew I never planned to balance the teeter-totter. The best pleasure is in the attempt, because to me the view from the top is never as good as the feeling of the climb and the fall beneath, and the aftertaste of iron vein, heart-shaking adrenaline. In my room I have an old baseball team photo, several pounds of cheap colored metal bits of fencing, from fencing, and two bags of old horse show ribbons. But somewhere in Alberta, there are trophies that have plaques with my name on, and those will stay like permanent after images, like crossed off bucket list items, like X'd out dreams. This is a reminder of the things I forget, or I don't remember if I knew in the first place, like the shaky wobble lurch, lurch feel of the teeter totter, where everything is so new and feels like nothing. Instead of a manifesto trying to define, to limit, this femme manifesto wants to remember and learn how to turn a trebuchet teeter-totter into a Newton's cradle click-clack perpetual motion balanced, where every desperate flail outside the boundaries brings it to rest once again. It's a lesson for myself in how self-destruction isn't always the end, so that maybe the screaming comes back into orbit, into gentle click-clack balance. This is a hope for when I go searching for the next thrill. I learn to live with a fire burning instead of setting myself on fire only to flare up and burn out. Leaving only trophy plaques as an after image, I never liked the waiting. Let's, the let's gain five pounds because I wasn't used to not doing hours of training every week where I regress back to clueless beginner once again. But I, with a teeter-totter trebuchet, never knew any different. So this feminifesto will try to build, not a trebuchet, but a click-clack balance of poetry and words, a misplaced reminder that, what, that I can find when I can't remember how to stop screaming. One more way to keep the fire burning. Beth McBreen.